Hey guys, currently I'm in Mitoyo, Japan, and I'm walking right next to Chichibukahama Beach, one of my favorite beaches here. And I'm here to show you exactly what you can produce with the Pocket 2. Specifically speaking, creating a cinematic vlog. So what I'm going to be doing today is vlogging with this machine while showing you exactly how it sounds and exactly how cinematic you can really make all your videos. Right now, for the first half of the day, I'm going to be vlogging with just the internal microphones. Now it has four microphones so it should be able to pick up my voice on all sides of it. But because I have the combo creator pack also, in the second half of the day, I'm going to be utilizing the wireless microphone that they provide in that pack and we're going to listen to the difference in the sound. All throughout the vlog, it's going to have a very cinematic feel. So, without further ado, this is my vlog with the Pocket 2 in Mitoyo, Japan. Let's get started. And if you didn't know where Mitoyo was, Mitoyo is right here. I want to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to my friends at Mika Studios for letting me borrow the Pocket 2. I'm going to leave their information in the description below. So check them out, especially if you live in Fukuoka. how this tastes huh mmm I'm gonna eat this then we're gonna get back to work because I got work to do today fast forward breakfast is finally complete it was really good but you know what that means for today because I have to work so it's time to work so without further ado let's see what it looks like for me to work <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty hungry. I think it's time for me to go outside and see what exactly they have here for lunch. Shall we go? Gotta put the mask on because we're going into lunch right now where people are, so... <laughs> mask on! The place I'm going to go to lunch has... They have burgers and sandwiches. And I believe what I want to do today is get some sandwiches. So, I'm going to illegally cross the street because I'm a foreigner. Run! I'll bring you guys inside, we'll order, and then we'll try to get a spot at the top, hopefully if it's empty, and we can have lunch. Oh. Well, I got my food. I'm on the balcony or on the rooftop of the location. And I must say the food tastes pretty good. I got apple juice, came with a salad, 
It's always nice. The fries are really good here. And I got myself a beef pastrami sandwich. So we're going to switch the microphone up. So no longer are we going to use this one. Let me know what this one sounds like in the comments below. I'm going to switch it up. And let's see if we can hear a difference. So um, let me finish this up. And then we'll get into that. Sounds good, everybody? You don't have a choice. I'm going to somehow put this on my shirt, even though it looks stupid. As you can see, I now have the microphone on right here. So you should be able to hear me pretty clearly now. I saw they had donuts. This apparently is an apple ginger donut, if you can see that. But this one is a blue Hawaii donut. Okay, first the blue Hawaii. Looks like it's a regular donut on top. And most of the blue Hawaii portion is icy on top. I like the color and the look, but it's so sweet. All right, one bite. Oh god, tastes like soda. Ramune soda. That's what I first get when I eat this. So much sugar. Is it good? Yeah, I guess I would get this one again. Now, we have apple ginger. I love apple, but ginger on a donut I'm a little scared of. Let's try it. Oh wow. So much flavor. It's very sweet again. Has a hint of apple. Slight hint. But it's really good. It reminds you of like an apple cinnamon type of uh, deal here. It's really good actually. I like this better than the Blue Hawaii. I'd get both to be honest. They're actually interesting donuts. Very sweet though. I suggest you don't eat more than one of these. So that was the donuts. That was lunch. Let me know what you think in the sound. This is now being used for the rest of the day. So let me know if it's improved the sound of this video if it has done so then you already know exactly what you need to do in order to buy the ultimate vlogging machine anyways on to the next which is me going down to the beach <laughs> okay this vlog is gonna be over soon um now we just finished playing frisbee and now the final thing is to watch the sunset. That's it. And you'll see exactly why this beach is hands down one of the best beaches I've ever seen. Later. All right guys, so what'd you think of the vlog features? It's really good, huh? It really puts together a nice cinematic view. It gives you so many options. It has the time-lapse option you can use, a slow motion option. You can also speed up, really nice, in order to get you a lot of different variety in your vlogs. And so I think the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 is a very good vlog camera, especially if you get it with the creator pack because of the wireless microphone it has a great sound like the difference was amazing so if you're in the market for a vlogging camera and you like to make cinematic vlogs instead of having multiple cameras one for b-roll and one for actual talking to the camera why not just combine them all with the pocket 2 well that's my review with this Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog and hopefully you liked the way that it looked and the cinematic feel that you get with the pocket too. I gotta go and do another vlog, so I'll see you guys next time.